what is going on everybody um welcome to salt marsh monday so last night we tried to do one got totally blown off the water in like an hour so it wasn't much of a salt marsh sunday so we're doing monday night tonight uh actually have some beautiful weather i mean it's still breezy definitely but this is doable we're able to deal with this Welcome back to a Salt Marsh Monday. Um, we tried doing a Salt Marsh Sunday, but um, me and Ashley last night, but the wind was absolutely brutal. Um, we finally got some decent weather. It's still breezy, but it's doable. So um, we're going to take full advantage of that. Um, going to run up to an area tonight that I haven't been yet this year. Uh, looking for bluefish is the name of the game. Um, if they're anywhere in my area, this is where they're going to be. So we're going to, the first part of the night, uh, we're not really looking for stripers unless we get them as a bycatch. So um, we're going to see what we can do. Uh, we're going to see if we can locate some. So it would be freaking awesome to catch a couple gators this year. Um, hasn't really been a good year for them in my area. Haven't seen hide nor hair of them. Um, so, going to try for that. Then we're going to try for some bass later. Uh, the new moon had them really on the chew heavy uh, Friday night. So, uh, hoping that is still going to be the case. We have a dead low tide right now. So, we're going to basically fish the entire incoming and a uh, little bit of the outgoing depending how late I can stay out. So hopefully it'll be a good night. Um, I'm excited going to be throwing around a new lure tonight which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to pick it up and start running now. We have a little bit of a long run ahead of us. Like I said, it's quite breezy, but it is, uh, it's pretty flat, luckily. So it's definitely doable tonight. So it's always a good idea, especially when you're going to be out at nighttime to make a mental note of where all the crab pots and obstructions are going to be. Um, you know, that where you're going to be running back through at nighttime. So it's just uh, my little tidbit for the week. Uh, you certainly don't want to wrap one of them up in the prop.
Bottom Sweeper just dropped these new buffs. Uh, you should go pick one up, especially since it seems like we're all going to be wearing masks for a while with everything we have to do and every place we have to go. So right now, uh, since it's low tide, um, I can't really search the shallows. So uh, number one, I'm looking for bird activity. Um, see if there's anything happening on the surface looking for birds dive bomb and that sort of thing also um i'm also scanning the deeper holes with my fish finder because they also might be holed up uh deep now that the tide is really low so they're my two little tidbits i'm not seeing a whole lot right now but basically we're just going to scout and uh you know if we don't find anything then we might end up looking for some bass uh, shortly. But, so, like I said, yeah, that's what I'm looking for and see if we can come up with something. So, no luck on the bluefish front, but we got a thick blanket of fog moving in on the area I'm at. So, I'm gonna start making my way back out of here just because it's gonna start getting dark soon. We have pea soup fog going on and this is when it's good to have uh, good electronics to follow the only good thing about fog is I will say this is you usually don't have wind associated with fog it's usually nice and and calm into something I will check back in. So I stepped off the water for a little bit. So I was waiting for the tide to come up. And uh, we're still dealing with pea suit fog pretty much. But we're gonna see if we can't get in. Nice fat bass. He's clamping down. Just clamping down. Wrap up. We got to do this quick because it is late. Um, tough night, definitely. I didn't find fish until real late. But I knew that I was going to have a very particular window to get at these fish. And sure enough... Uh, it was a small window, but the fish that we did get were beefy. Um, they seem to be a new class of fish that moved into the area. Uh, they're real heavy bodied. Um, they seem like migrators to me. Um, it's not your standard backwater bass. Uh, they were spunky, they were heavy bodied, and they were fighters, man. They really were. So 
So most people probably would have given up and gone home, but uh, I toughed it out, no doubt, it, because like I said, I knew that there was gonna be a window and sure enough there was and uh, I was rewarded for that. So don't ever give up, man. If you know that there's gonna be a window, even if it's stupid late, just go out and take advantage of it, man. Tough it out. That's all I can really say because you're probably going to be rewarded. And I was definitely rewarded for that. So, um, all right, that's about it for this week. I'm tired. It's late. I'm soaked. Um, it's a little chilly. So I'll check you guys out. Everybody have a safe week.